Within the College of Environmental Design, students have an intimate relationship with their faculty, their peers, their advisors, and also the opportunity to do some amazing things on the UC Berkeley campus as a whole. We help students with academic planning, choosing classes, study abroad opportunities, volunteer projects, internships. We really are here to help students have the best possible experience. We look at sustainability challenges and how they affect urban ecologies, whether it's hydrology or vegetation. We look at how nature and culture merge in the zone of the city. The architecture program at the undergraduate level covers a whole range of topics. Architectural design, architectural theory and history, architectural building sciences, which include structures, materials, and construction. Design is a process of making as much as it is a process of thinking, uh, a process of being thoughtful and deliberate about what you make and what you do. I teach Environmental Design 1 at the undergraduate level, which is our introductory course for freshmen in architecture, landscape and urban studies. The course is a set of weekly projects on a range of different design media, exploring ideas like section, which is how you draw slicing through things, or plans, or digital media, how those have all influenced design practice. I think that Berkeley in general has just completely transformed the framework through which I view the world. The urban studies major at Berkeley doesn't have any particular concentration. While it does focus on grounding students in the general history and theories of city planning, it also leaves lots of leeway for people to pursue their own individual interests. Urban studies as a major and as a field of inquiry train students to think about cities as the place of the human condition, also to think about cities as places of great human life and excitement. There's a complex interplay between the design-built form and the natural processes in the environment. Students learn how to read the river, to develop a strategy to restore the river. The activist environment is something that's really encouraged here and the sustainability concern is something that really matters to a lot of our students. The idea of doing kind of DIY, not waiting for someone to change things at the top, but acting and building differently today. So at the undergraduate level it's important to help people make connections. My favorite part about CED is the family environment that you get here. It's one of the smallest colleges on campus which I love and I like that feeling, that atmosphere of creativity that's going on here. As much as I love the artistic side of architecture, I wanted to also explore math and the structural aspects so when I'm designing things, I, I know what's going to work. The courses help me represent my ideas both visually and verbally. The studio environment is a really complex environment where it's not just about the ideas that you create but the relationships that you form with your peers and with your faculty and the exchange of ideas. We're really striving to make this an inclusive place where everyone feels welcome, students, faculty, and staff. The undergraduate experience here is really a transformative one, but it also equips you to then go out and make transformations in the world. Whatever you're interested in, whoever you are, wherever you come from, there's a place for you here in the College of Environmental Design.